Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix missing executable error on Steam. So make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you won't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the first solution that you can do is to run your Steam as administrator. So actually, most issues related to Steam client appears due to lack of administrative privileges. So you should try running your Steam as administrator at first if you get missing executable Steam issues. So to do that, just right click on the shortcut of your Steam and then just simply choose properties. Then switch to the compatibility tab and check run this program as administrator option and click apply and then OK to save the change. And after that, just open your Steam and try launching the game which gives the error message to see if the error is fixed. And then for the next solution, so what you can do is to verify the integrity of game cache. So if Steam missing executable error occurs, perhaps a necessary game file associated with game launching is missing indeed. So if you so, you can verify the game files in Steam to resolve this problem. So here's how to do it. So first just open your Steam and then go to the library and right click the problematic game and then choose properties and then just hit the local files on this part right here tab and then just click verify integrity of game cache and then steam will start validating the game file and this will take some time so you just need to wait patiently until it is 100 percent completed and then lastly what you can do is to disable the antivirus programs temporarily so as you all know steam will download updates and games in the background when you turn to other programs and it requires access to and the right to make changes for some configuration for better gaming experience However, it is very likely to be regarded as malware and be blocked by antivirus. So considering this, you can try disabling your antivirus program temporarily and then check if you can launch the game properly. And of course, you should disable the Windows Defender antivirus as well if you are using it. And if this method doesn't work you can just re-enable your antivirus and then that's it for this video and i hope this helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit notification bell button so you won't miss the video thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye